What is the fastest way of rolling a ball from A to B? What is the fastest path for a Formula One car along a racetrack? In this video series, we derive brachistochrone curve and determine the optimum racing lines of Formula One cars using numerical dynamic programming. Welcome to Ingenious. Let us start with discussing the algorithm that we will be using. Let us say we want to go from A to F. A is our initial state. F is our final state. Let us say there are two stages to cross to go from A to F. Every transition has a cost. For example, the cost of going from A to B is 7. These are the possible paths to go from A to F. Which of these is the most optimum path that has the least cost? Dynamic programming gives a way of solving this problem. Here is how the algorithm works. We start from the last stage. The least cost to go to the destination state, F, from D, is 8. This is easy to determine as there is only one possible way to go to F, from D. Notice that we have also marked the optimum direction with a small green arrow. Similarly, the optimal cost to go from E to F is 6. Moving on the prior stage, we focus on state B. Now, there are two ways to go from state B. One towards D, another towards E. The minimum cost of going towards D is 2 plus 8, which is 10. The minimum cost of going towards E is 1 plus 6, which is 7. So, the optimum way forward from state B is towards E, and the least cost from B to the destination state, F, is 7. The optimum direction is again marked with the green arrow. These little arrows are going to be important in the second step of this algorithm in navigating the optimum path. They are telling us which direction to head to for the minimum cost. Similarly, for state C, the optimum way forward is towards E, with the least cost of 3 plus 6, which is 9. Again moving to the prior stage, there is the initial state, A. The optimum way forward is towards B, with the least cost of 7 plus 7, which is 14. Now that we have calculated least cost from each state to the destination F, we can trace the most optimum path starting from initial state A. All we have to do is to follow the little green arrows we had marked in the previous steps. These arrows guide us on the optimum path. Voila! We have now determined the most optimal path from A to F. This algorithm is very generic and can be used to solve variety of optimization problems. Now, we will use this algorithm for solving the brachistochrone problem. Brachistochrone problem was put forth by Johann Bernoulli in 1696. The problem statement is simple. Make a road for a ball to roll from A to B, such that time taken for the journey is minimized. There are a number of ways one can build this curve connecting A and B. Which curve is the optimum? We will try to build the optimum path using the dynamic programming algorithm we just learnt. We form two stages between A and B. Each stage has four states. This generates a bunch of possible paths from A to B. One of these paths is optimum. Now, we need to assign costs to each link. The cost of going from A to X is the time taken to go from A to X. Applying the law of conservation of energy, velocity at X can be calculated. The time taken to go from A to X can be calculated using these simple equations. This completes our cost calculation. Here is the summary of the algorithm we will be using. First step is evaluate costs for each link by using the equations we just discussed. Second step is to calculate optimal cost for each state from last stage to the first stage. Lastly, select the most optimum path going from first stage to the last. We are going to use a Python script to solve this problem. Here is the Python script. Let us run the script. This figure here shows the stages between the starting point and the destination point. 
Each stage has a lot of possible states. Each state here has a particular x and y coordinate. We will attempt to find the optimum path through all of these stages. This is the beauty of the numerical dynamic programming algorithm. It can break down a given problem in stages and find the optimum path. Here is the optimum path determined by the dynamic programming algorithm. This is a discrete version of famous curve known as a cycloid. This curve is also known as the brachistochrone curve. This is the path that takes least amount of time to go from A to B. Here is a comparison of the optimal path we have derived with a straight line path. The optimal path we have derived, which is the brachistochrone curve, is the least time consuming path. Now that we have seen how the numerical dynamic programming can be used for solving the brachistochrone problem, we will take on a much more complex problem of obtaining an optimum racing line of a Formula 1 car. Stay tuned! And, please hit the subscribe button if you found value in this video. Thank you!